Jeff, thank you. The SUNY Chancellor is now requiring that all colleges and universities create a COVID-19 testing program if they haven't already done so. The majority of SUNY schools are starting to see an increase in cases as classes begin, including many in Western New York. Take UB, for example, which has 78 total cases, including 40 on campus. So what is the university doing to keep those numbers down? And what happens when someone tests positive? Tonight, I got some answers. Guidance from the State Department of Health mandates that colleges and universities must transition all in-person learning to remote. When 100 members of the on-campus population test positive for COVID-19 within a 14-day period. That pause is really a time for us to assess what our campus community is experiencing. So what happens when a student living on campus tests positive? I asked UB's Director of Health Services, Susan Snyder. We de-densified our dormitories and on-campus apartments, but for any student who is living with us and becomes symptomatic, or has been identified as a close contact of a known case, um, they are moved into designated housing for the purpose of quarantine and isolation. Snyder said the university encourages off-campus students to either quarantine at their off-campus residence or join the designated housing on campus. So we have really been encouraging students to stay either with us in designated housing for those on-campus students or in place um, in Western New York so we don't um, continue a, a spread outside of Western New York. And UB began randomized surveillance testing of students who live on campus today. Officials say they hope this will help curb future potential outbreaks.